Well, this is a weird start to an episode. I've been sitting here for uh, some skeletons who spawn so I can kill them for bones. And that was for next episode so I can like make some white dye. Because so far there's no white flowers around here so it's a bit annoying. Anyways, <laughs> so far I've been zero skeletons spawning. Apart from there, but yeah, I'm not really bothered to go there. So yeah, uh, it's not been too successful. Hang on, this is sound is too loud so I think we'll just kill a few endermen maybe once it's daytime there's too many zombies for me right now I really don't want to deal with this all right let's just go and sleep boom water bucket MLG all right let's head home and sleep all right daytime so I think we'll go and find those endermen and try and get a few more ender pearls I don't know why I'm trying to get them so early game, but, you know, I think I'll just get them and not have to worry about it later. Anyways, after that weird start to an episode, today we are going to build a, uh, spider man- spider- <laughs> Today we are going to build a spider farm, I almost said spider man for some reason, I don't know. Anyways, last episode we got full diamond armor with enchantments. Not the best, again, but I'll um, enchant them up later in the series. I'm not, I don't really have good enchantments right now because, well, first of all, my villager setup isn't really <laughs> set up, so you can't really call it a villager setup, and I really need a uh, villager trading hall. However, we need more stuff done before we do any of that. And first of all, uh, like I said, I really want to build the um, a spider farm we saw from last episode because right now, I mean, string is not the most important thing, but I still wanted to get a farm done. And that, I also wanted to build a farm because uh, I needed time to uh, get some white dye because I need it for my starter base. You go see why in next episode which might come out a bit late because well of course if i don't get white dye i'm not gonna be able to build it and yeah so that's a problem but you know and yeah but anyways today we are gonna be building the spider farm and basically we found this thing the spider spawner last episode over here basically we found this thing last episode over here if you guys for some reason missed last episode be sure to go and check it out we got all our diamond stuff and yeah basically uh i just lit this thing up i've done nothing else except for looting this chest which i'll break now and yeah let's just get to building an epic spider farm also i'm gonna decorate it a bit later in this video so it's not gonna look like a terrible stony sort of farm and also, I'll walk you guys through every single step of this uh, farm, and I'll show you guys how to build it as well. So, let's just get straight into it. Alright, so all the materials needed for the farm is all here. So, you need some temporary blocks, so I'll, I'll be using dirt for that. Some fence gates, so 18 of them, 18 stone slabs. Again, it doesn't exactly have to be smooth stone slabs, it just has to be slabs, some torches, a spruce fence, and iron trapdoors, this time it has to be iron trapdoors, uh, spruce signs again, I mean, wait, did I say spruce sign? I didn't say, wait, I said spruce fence, not, wait. Anyways, spruce signs, uh, you guys can look for yourselves <laughs> if I said anything wrong. Hopper, three hoppers, uh, cobblestone wall, and two water buckets. And yeah, that's really all you need for this farm. And again, I said it's really simple. And yeah, so let's just start building it. I think I said that already, but yeah, let's just start. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is basically you want to clear out a 9x9 nine nine hole. So right now, if you wanna if you wanna measure it, it's basically. Also earlier I said two chests. You actually need three. So scratch two, three. So you wanna make sure it's four blocks from each. 
each side of the spawner. So this is one, two, three. So you want to dig out another block on top. So like this is going to be nine and my spawner is kind of close to the surface. So that's going to be a bit of a problem, but I guess we can do a bit of terraforming to make it look better. So four blocks on this side. So one, two, three and four like that and then the same on each of the other sides and the bottom as well so four blocks deep so let's just mine out this area real quick and there we go i actually told you guys to do the wrong thing so if we go to the height of the spawner which is here uh it's actually five blocks on from the roof so one two three four five instead of four and then on the floor it's actually uh three blocks deep so it is one two three like that so uh if you guys already uh dug this hole forgive me but yeah this is what the hole should look like instead of uh four blocks deep uh, up and down so yeah also, don't forget to put torches on the wall as spiders will be able to spawn. So, because it sometimes is dark enough and, you know, it's just a precaution so they don't spawn on you while you work and they can get pretty annoying sometimes. Now, when you finish d digging out your room or finish correcting your room because of me, uh, you want to make an uh, infinite water source. So, to do that, just basically dig out a 3 by one hole place down your water and there we go now we have infinite waters so now we can just basically take them out whenever we want and it will keep on refilling because of minecraft logic now once you got your water just go to each of the corner or just these two corners actually and place down the water and they will look like this once you've done it correctly now you can just pick up your infinite water and then just cover the hole back up so all the water disappears if you want it to look nicely for the aesthetics or something uh, you can cover it with stone but for me but because we're not going to be even looking at this room when we're farming the spiders we're just gonna keep it like this also i I think I should do it the other way because I have a really cool entrance plan for this thing and I don't, and I don't really want it to be ruined so yeah. Uh, we're gonna place the water here and here instead. Like this. Now just dig out the blocks that are not covered by the water so it should look like this once you're finished. Now simply just dig out the four blocks under the water so this 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 and this so they should all flow nicely into the center now go to the middle of this farm and then basically dig out a three by two area so like this and then because it will be easier for you to work i suggest you guys to dig out one more block like so and once you've done that just basically place down your three signs on the wall like that so now the signs are blocking the water from entering this part now just make your tunnel six blocks deep so all you have to do is just dig out three blocks into here so that's one two three four five six and then and then dig the rest of this out and like that so now this is six blocks deep one two three four five six now just go back to your spawner and you want to just tower up with your temporary blocks and just add your fences on top of it so basically this prevents the spiders from getting stuck up here and that might seriously prevent your farm from working really fast or functioning at all so this is a quite a crucial step i would say now go back to your tunnel that you dug out, leave one block, and then mine out nine blocks. So over here, like so. 
so there's a one block gap and then it's nine blocks so now feel free to expand this part a bit more so it will be easier for you guys to work so you can just dig out like a few blocks on a five and then just dig out a few more on each side it's not necessary but it's just it's better for you know it's roomier and you can like not feel so claustrophobic inside here so basically this is the room I dug out it's quite big I made it really roomy for some random reason I forgot to add some torches so let's not forget that and they're not on the same level there we go and that looks quite nice for now and we'll be decorating it again I said it before so many times I've been repeating myself so many times I don't know why but we'll be decorating it and we'll make it really cool and and all the stuff okay so once you're happy with your room you want to add three walls over here next to these blocks the ones you left a gap with now skip another row and then you want to add three chests and then shift so they don't combine into a double chest now behind the chest you want to add some hoppers hang on i skipped two rows i'm so dumb skip one row not two and add some chests like that and want to add some hoppers like that on top of the hoppers add the slabs like so also on the ceilings you want to add some slabs as well so try to place them like this And to check if you got it correct or not, uh, you should have finished placing all of your slabs so they will you'll have none left. Behind those slabs, you can just add some blocks. So for me, I'm probably just going to use stone for the moment. I might change it to stone bricks. Yeah, I'll do that. Basically, this is what it's going to look like now. And it's looking finished already, but not quite just yet. So now under these... Uh, blocks you want to place down your iron trap doors now basically your farm is done uh, you can decorate your killing area before the spiders start spawning uh, which is gonna make life a lot harder if you want to decorate it later so yeah I suggest you guys to start decorating now it makes everything much easier for me I'm gonna use spruce logs and whatnot to get like the accents of this stuff and yeah so I'll check in with you guys when I'm finished decorating. There we go. Now that looks way better. Hang on, let me just change out this dirt. I forgot to replace it. There we go. That looks way better. Also, I added this like sort of entrance to the uh, the farm. Although the farm is not exactly done yet, I just added some nice little you know entrance to this place I'm gonna build a little bridge soon and cover that up so it's gonna look better but you know we're done with the inside part so we can basically finish the farm and let it run while we work on the bridge and other aesthetics we want to approve I mean improve not approve so next what you want to do is just make your way inside the farm for me I'm probably gonna go uh, to the outside I also want to sleep because Hopefully I can sleep because it's so annoying the rain. If I can't, I'll just work on it. Anyways, basically, if you are happy with what your what your uh, farm looks like, or if you are not like really bothered by the aesthetics of it, you can basically just uh, go straight to your farm and start working or finishing the farm. So, if you guys are really worried about spiders uh, getting trapped up on the ceiling then you can follow these uh instructions really easily so basically you can just place the block here and then tower up to the roof and then dig out a two by two hole for me it's gonna be all the way out onto the ceiling so it's gonna be a bit annoying but we can fix that easily so you want to just like dig it out and then it will be a two by two so this should be enough so that's 
two higher and then you want to add another block on top so you can mark out the uh, the very top of it and then you can just cap it off and then you can just dig out the rest of it if you guys have your uh, spawner underground then that's way better because you don't really have to worry about all of this so I will patch up the ground later but it's being the rain is making it lag a lot and basically you just want to do this on this side as well and also I realized I did something wrong the other side uh, it's a 2x2 two two, so you have to dig this part out and make it too high as well so let's just dig this out okay so now once it's a 2x2 two two, you can simply place down your fence gates like this and open them up all the way along this tunnel and make sure they are all opened up and let me just get back up there real quick and open them all up and now you want to place down your water buckets you want some more water which I whoops I did not mean to do that uh, you want to place this back down open these up and I'll go home real quick and get my water. So now basically place your water on these two blocks at the very end. So that should be flowing towards that side. And now uh, you want to do the same on the other side and place water down there as well. last water place okay now you can just break all of these blocks also I suggest you guys to keep them here for now like for two seconds because you're gonna have to get rid of all the torches and you want to be out of there as fast as you can but first let me patch up this hole I made because I had to go and get stuff so I'll need some stone and some bricks there we go replace the torch like that and we're good to go so now let's just go back into that uh, spawner area and remove all the torches and be quick about it because I really do not want to get ambushed by a billion spiders. One. Two. And get blocks ready just in case. Three. Four. And the ones in the middle. And the last one. Okay, and they're all spawning now. Oh god. No. That's what I said. They're all spawning, and it's really annoying. So you have to be really careful. And they can climb, so remove all of these blocks. And we are successful. So now the spawner is done. Just cover this hole back up. And yeah, that's basically the spider farm done. And basically you can just AFK here for a long time. And yeah, basically you can just get an auto clicker and then you can start getting tons of XP and materials. But I'm not going to do that because, well, first of all, I don't really want to AFK in this world. So that's why.
And also, I really just want to finish the, uh, the, um, the bridge. So let me just do that real quick. Alright guys, I think I officially completed this spider farm. I have added more stuff to the interior. Oh, I forgot to add the lanterns. There we go. That looks better. Anyways, um, I have finished the interior and all the designing and stuff and it's fully functional. It's just that I'm outside the 16 block radius right now so the spiders aren't spawning currently. And basically, uh, I'll give you guys a tour. So basically, the entrance is all the way back out here. I also added this sort of like gate thingy, partly to uh, prevent mobs from sneaking up on me while I'm like slaying the spiders. But also, I wanted to make it look cool and eerie, but I think I failed completely miserably. I added this like, uh, this uh, bridge, and it looks okay, I guess. Um, it's not the best looking bridge I've ever done, but you know, it's the only bridge I've ever built, so I think it's the best currently, number one, because it's the only one. And, uh, to go in, it's just this entrance, and then, oh, that's an enderman. It, you go in through here, and then you open this gate, unless, like, an enderman teleports here. No other mobs should be able to come in here because it's all spawn proofed because of the lighting and 1.18 lighting stuff and then you can just go here and slay the spiders which is awesome. I've also got like this sleeping area and the storage chest and stuff. I put some blocks because I had no more inventory space. Anyways, I think you guys should be able to build something better than mine because I mean I like the interior but uh, the bridge looks kind of chunky, but you guys don't really have to build anything like this. Uh, I just built it for the aesthetics, and it just pleases the eye, you know, so I, I, I'm i quite happy with it because I've never done anything sort of like this before, so uh, yeah, um, I really enjoyed building this farm. I hope you guys learned how to build it as well and f might find it useful in your Minecraft world and um, and the food as well. But yeah, basically this is the uh, the spider farm. So yeah, if you guys found this video helpful or liked it or both, uh, be sure to uh, consider hitting the subscribe button and like button as this, as this helps me out a ton. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one.